What is up guys, welcome back to another play review. Today we're going to be looking at our very first inform from Juve. Now, I think it's the first inform from Juve, but actually there's Pogba. Now, non inform Tevez is awesome. The inform Tevez, we're going to find out in just a second. Before I begin, if you guys are looking for a cheap, unreliable place to get your coins, check out battelay.com. Their link will be in the description. Use the code Uton to get 5% off. Now, the main highlight is his 90 shot because from the non inform to the inform, it has increased by 5, which is a huge upgrade because it was 85 and now it is 90 and it looks super impressive on his card. But how does it feel on the pitch? I'm going to tell you from the start, do not let this guy shoot because if, it, if he shoots it while running at full sprint speed, you're going to have problems big problems because his shot is like a bullet the goalkeeper is most likely not going to see it and if he does he's going to parry it and it's going to be a corner now most of the time it goes in because his shooting if you if you know how to shoot from long range you could take advantage of inform tevez with that 90 shot his long shots are super impressive but not only his long shots are super impressive his finesse shots also you'll see a couple of clips where he shoots it or sorry he finesses it from outside the penalty area from 30 yards it's like the game isn't even patched with his finesse shots and they go in the goalkeepers seem to be stupid to save his i don't know it just makes them think that it's not going in but it's actually going in so goalkeepers they still haven't fixed them or finesse shots with him are just so overpowered but then again his 90 shot should reflect how awesome he is when it's finesse shots or long shots now Dribbling wise, he's awesome at that. Ball control, really loved his ball control. When you play an over the top through ball, he controls it almost instantly and carries on onto goal. Now that's what you need. If you want someone really good on the counter attack, Tevez is your player. But then again, there's a bit of negatives to that as well. But that's what I really like about him, his ball control. You could always rely on him to control it quickly and get on with you know get on with the match. But some players take ages to you know to control the ball and then defenders just catch up to them and just take it off them. So Really enjoyed Tevez's ball control. Decent passing as well. If you want him for crossing and those sort of, you know, those sort of purposes to assist your strikers, he's good at that as well. Full star skills. He's decent at heading, not too special because he isn't that tall, but he was decent at heading. He does have decent heading stats as well. He's an amazing finisher in the penalty area. Actually, I think I've never missed with him in the penalty area. I'm not too sure, but I can't even remember a time I actually missed with him, but there might be one in the video. Who knows? But now his negatives. He is out of position quite a bit, so if you don't mind your striker having high and high uh, attacking work rates and defensive work rates, then you won't have a problem with him. But if you do mind it and you do get annoyed very easily, then you won't like Inform Tevez in a striker position. Maybe, you know, bring him down as a center attack midfielder. His aggression has been upgraded a lot, so I think it's by 10 or something. He has 97 aggression now, and his strength has been upgraded by 1 or 2. So his strength, you won't see much of a different difference, but aggression, when he's Fighting off defenders, that's what you're going to notice. He's way stronger. He has three star weak foot, but four star skills. So it really depends what sort of striker you're looking for or what sort of uh, center attack and midfielder you're looking for. But Tevez, I thought he was really good in both positions. I mean, one of the. I didn't even play seven matches with him. I think I played six matches, and one of them was a rage quit as soon as he saw Inform Tevez. So hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, who you want me to review next from this team of the week. And I hope you have a very nice day.